So welcome back to uh, this week's cases of Faith from Friday. Um, today's case is first case we're actually going to Russia in the mid to late 1700s. And so some cases, some um, information is kind of like, it's not exactly confirmed because I'm getting different answers. But of course, as always, source is always down below. I'm giving the best I can. And so let's just go and get started. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you will get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? So start off with the killer, Daria Saltiskova was born on March 11th or 22nd or even November 3rd of 19 of, of 1730. Now why she has three different alleged birth dates I don't even know maybe they weren't keeping good records back then despite her being a noble and so I don't know it's just I guess those there's conflicting answers basically and so what is known is that she would marry this guy named Gleb uh, Salty Scova, which is where she gets her last name, Salty Scova, from. She had two children with him before Gleb dies by the time she's 26. Now, she did get married to him at a young age. How exactly young she was, I don't know, because apparently people were getting married back then at like 12 and shit. So, who knows how young she was. Uh, both children were actually said to have died by the time they were in their mid-20s. So, you know, obviously that's not good. Um, when Gleb, her husband died, he, Daria would become like one of the richest widows, like in Mas Moscow, because remember this is Russia, so Moscow, Russia, and she also has like this very large state with all these serfs, and the serfs were basically, uh, serfs basically is like slaves when we had slaves over the United States. So, uh, another thing I should have mentioned, while married to Gleb, she actually, apparently there was like a lot of pressure on her, because despite being a noble, she did not know how to read, nor had an education, which normally if you are a noble, they make sure that you have the best of both so that you know how to read and that you have a proper enough education because again, you are a noble so you have access to those things. So why Daria did not have either one of those, it did not say. But I just thought that was interesting to mention. Um, it is said that after, we don't know about before he died, but after Gleb died, Daria apparently had a negative outlook on life. But however, she was very religious and apparently she was giving money to the church, which apparently is ironic considering the things she is accused of doing. Uh, it doesn't say when, but sometimes she would fall in love with this man named Nicholas, who apparently was the grandfather of some famous poet in Russia that would later come along into Russian history. He he and Daria apparently were into this affair. I think that I mentioned his name was Nicholas. And so yeah, uh, Nicholas and Daria was in this little affair. I guess that she pretty much like fell in love with him, and then he had found this younger girl. And so Nicholas basically found this other girl, this other younger girl, and that was they basically secretly eloped, and. Daria found out. She obviously wasn't happy. Then she goes to plan to kill both of them. So then she has basically this assassination attempt. Uh, first one, apparently she tries to burn down the house. And then the serfs, they have a good conscience. They tell them, like, hey, this is what's going on. The second one, I couldn't exactly find what she was trying to do with that one. But apparently there were two. They get the serfs, I guess. I don't know if it was the same serfs or different serfs. They tell the... The two again are like, hey, you know, she's trying to kill you. This is serious. We just thought we let you know, as good people do. And so, of course, they flee Moscow because they gave the heads up. You know, hey, she's trying to kill you. So, of course, they flee Moscow and apparently even flee Russia. So, whatever happened to them, we don't even know. And so, uh, for some reason, the death penalty would wind up being abolished in 1754. I know this seems random, but trust me, it's relevant to the story later on. So, remember, death penalty is abolished in 1754. In 1756, so two years later, Daria said to have started punishing, at least when it is publicly known that she started punishing her serfs, which believed to be young girls. So, like, the younger they were, the worse the punishment because, well, her man left her for a younger girl. So, she pretty much was salty because her man left her for a younger girl. So, she started taking out her anger on these younger girls, if that makes sense. And so, apparently, it was said that some of these uh, serfs would be tortured by Daria and then was whipped to death by someone else while Daria had watched. Uh, various other punishments that were, she said to have done was breaking their bones, burning their hair, uh, throwing them outside naked in the Russian winter, which if you've been to Russia, which I haven't, but apparently, you know, Russia is always snowing, so you can imagine it's like hella cold. Uh, so apparently that often killed them too, being out in the Russian winter. Boiling hot water on them, uh, severing their ears with hot pokers, 
and whipping their backs until the bones like on your back area were exposed. And so apparently there was a rumor going around. This is never confirmed, but it's, it's said multiple sources. So I thought I'd mention it. Basically, there was this pregnant woman. Um, Dar I don't know what she did to piss Dari off, but apparently she pissed Dari off. She stepped her, Daria stepped on her stomach. She went to labor. She then died. Baby was still alive. She has these men put the baby into a coffin and lose the baby out of the winter. Baby also then dies. She calls the priest, I guess, to have them buried. The priest refused to have both either one of them buried until a, po a proper police investigation is done. Because obviously, I guess the priest expected foul play. And so her husband, apparently the husband of the woman who Daria apparently had killed, the pregnant woman, her husband filed a complaint. For some reason, he was given to Daria herself. And, of course, he was put into exile until the, until the day he died. So instead of being killed, he just was put into exile. Um, it was said there are three confirmed men that she killed. Could, it could be more, but her primary target was women. So there's only three confirmed men that she killed. And apparently, instead of killing the men themselves, like most of them, she wouldn't kill them. She would kill like the person, like the female that they loved. So like sisters, daughters, wives, their mothers, you know, because their main target was females. And so, of course, there's all these dead bodies uh, coming up. So then the priest would refuse to even have any burials because obviously he suspected foul play and he's not trying to be involved, which understandable. So that she has basically a superintendent, which I guess is like an assistant, but it's, it's called a superintendent, according to sources, basically write up a death record saying that the cause of death was illness, so that way she would not be suspected of anything. Because again, she's a noble, you can't be suspected of like murder and shit. So anybody who actually spoke out about the murders were sadly actually punished themselves. Uh, in 1762, finally, two men actually had the courage and apparently ran to St. Petersburg. Like, they ran away to St. Petersburg. And one of the men who actually ran away, he had three wives killed by Doria. And I was wondering, like, why he had, like, moved away and stuff. And apparently, again, this man's a serf. And, you know, they're not, they don't exactly have a lot of money. So, it's not like you can so the two men, I don't know how they managed to do this, but somehow they find Catherine the Great herself, which was like, she was like a major ruler in Russia at the time. They tell her what happened, and Daria, Catherine has Daria placed under arrest until an investigation is done, which somehow takes six years. Why it took that long, I don't know. It's just an investigation is done, and Daria is behind bars for at least six years. Then, uh, those that were still alive, they were scared that Daria might get out, she might get off scot-free, and she might have them killed. Which, you know, understand, because again, she's a noble, and nobles basically had to get out of jail free card for anything. Most of them were too scared to speak out, but a couple, though, luckily, there were a couple that, like, were willing to tell what happened. And so the investigation would find her guilty of killing 38 serfs. Be okay, so as punishment, she would have to wear this plaque around her neck that basically says this woman has tortured and murdered. And so, of course, uh, her at least confirmed to murder 38 people, she normally would be executed. But, of course, Russia, the I guess like the entire country of Russia, was what existed of Russia at the time, decided we're not going to do the death penalty. Because remember I said that was abolished in 1754. So, and also, even if the death penalty wasn't abolished, she couldn't even really be abolished be executed because she was a noble and that would cause uprise amongst the other nobles and Catherine could technically kind of get thrown out of power I mean they couldn't legally do that but they might cause an uprise and try to have Catherine thrown out of power if that makes sense so so the appropriate uh, I guess like the appropriate punishment that they decided to do since we can't do death we can do like the second worst thing which is basically like life without parole which is, that obviously they didn't say without parole but because but modern day is life without parole, basically. And so she basically was put into this dungeon, like no windows, like no shutters, nothing. Um, she would get fed, I think, twice, two or three times a day. And there's like a nun that comes with a candle. That's the only light that she gets is those candles during mealtime. And as soon as the meal is done, the candle is blown out. And she's basically in dark. So basically solitary confinement is what we call solitary confinement for like 11 years. And then after that, she's moved somewhere that has windows and a shutter. And if you were walking by, apparently she spat at you because, you know, I guess she thought you shouldn't have been nosy. And so, uh, funniest thing of all is, um, after she was sentenced to basically life without parole, after basically had her noble title taken away, which I didn't know you could do that, but apparently you could, and all her assets taken away, who it went to, I don't know, but it, it must, it went to somebody. 
and she was to be referred to as he even though she identifies as she she was referred to okay Catherine had her referred to as he because at the time it was believed that no woman could commit such cruelty despite this being like 200 years after Elizabeth Bathory who Daria is often compared to and it's the title of this video Daria died in November of 1801 from what I don't know where she's buried I said that she's buried with her it's basically a family plot in a cemetery and so yeah that was the case of the I guess the Russian version of Elizabeth Bathory um I guess let me know like who you think is crazier Elizabeth or Daria uh if there's any other Russian cases you want me to cover if you can find English translations of course I will happily cover them and until next time I'll see you family in the next one bye so with the play dead will you regret everything that you did that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing and my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry the conclusion Even though